An all-American singer, songwriter, and storyteller, Cherish Lee, next on the Chris Top Program. The Top, broadcasting live to at least three people on Spreaker.com. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? Is this not why you are here? My name is Dorcas Maximus, commander of the Dorks of the North. General of the Dork Legions. Loyal servant to the true Emperor, Dork Vader. And I will have my vengeance. Dorks of the world, unite! <laughs> Portions of the day's programming are reproduced by means of electrical transcriptions or tape recordings. <laughs> you can either tap in the crystal program. I am... The Chris Top Program. And I'm the one and only Chris Top, broadcasting live from our lavish home studio here in sunny Clarksville, Tennessee, with an ocean view. How in the hell are you doing, world? Sup, but it ain't so sunny. Oh, you don't have to tell everybody that. Well, it's like I, the magic of radio. It's always sunny in I, Clarksville, like I we have like an ocean it, view. I like it when it's not sunny, honestly. I like it when it's rainy and... and and, and gloomy outside. See, it, I, it, I enjoy both. It, in, it inspires me more. I, I enjoy think. both. I mean, I guess there's different levels for me, too. Like, I might feel more inspired in certain seasons than others, but then there are other things I enjoy about other, other seasons. I don't really enjoy the summer at all. Oh. <laughs> How do you think people will remember you? Uh, well, I don't know. I mean, I hope That was I a question have, I pondered yeah, today. Yeah, I saw that, and I was like, hmm, I was I starting to think about it. Well, yeah, what got, what got me started on my hikes, I do a lot of thinking. It may be the only time I think at all. But I, I'm on my hike, and, and I'm reciting like lines from a play that I was in 30 years ago. And I'm thinking, you know, if I've known something that long, I, and you truly learn something, then it becomes a part of you. So I got to thinking about people that, that are truly passionate about things and, and excel in these things and, and are really good. Um, it, it really becomes who they are, the things that they love and that they're, and they're, they're passionate about. And I gave some examples like Bruce Lee. You know, he's a martial artist, and that's just who he is. Neil Armstrong's an astronaut. Charles Schultz was uh, Charlie Brown, you know, uh, created Charlie Brown. So, I mean, these people, that's how they're known. When you hear their names, that's just the first thing you think of. So the question that I put out there on my Facebook page, and I'd love to see some answers uh, on this maybe in the comments or if you want to post us later or email us later. Um, How do you think people are going to remember you? Or maybe another way to, to, to ask that question is, how do you want people to remember you? And then how do you think they'll remember you? <laughs> That's an honest one. <laughs> yeah. How do you want people to remember you? This is what they really think. But, I mean, if you, if you, if you really want to get what you want, though, you have to work for it. You got to hustle. You know, if you want to be remembered as an astronaut, then you're going to have to be an astronaut, a, a, a darn good one. Uh-huh. You're going you to have to leave the Earth. But, anyway, it's just a, a side thought. We've got a Cherish Lee on the show today. I was just uh, previewing her uh, three songs that we've got, and I'll tell you what they are. And I didn't put these in order because I can't figure out which one I like the most. And I'm usually pretty good because I really, really dig them all. Uh, one's called uh, One Pillow Over. Uh, then we've got Tequila Cowgirl and Ain't Your Grandma's Country Song. Ooh. I, yeah. like, I like that last one. Ain't yep. Your Grandma's Country Song. Okay. So maybe, maybe it'll be your favorite. Maybe. Just because of the title. <laughs> it could suck. I know. I, I guess I can't really <laughs> judge a song by its title. You can't judge a song by its cover. No. Or something. It's a book. So, yeah. No, it's a song. There's three. Yeah, but... Okay, so we've got uh, <laughs> Cherish Lee uh, coming up next on the show. Stick around. 
The Chris Top Program. We know the website is really shitty, but the show is not quite as shitty. Listen live on the ChrisTopProgram.com. Archive shows on Spreaker, Stitcher, and iHeartRadio. Broadcasting worldwide to at least three people. This has been a Chris Top production. <laughs> you can eat a tap in the Chris Top Program. Did you ever think you could afford an interior designer? No, way too expensive. Besides, I've got style. If you had style, we wouldn't be having this conversation. Ouch. Interior designers are for rich people. Magnolia Emporium. Magnolia Aquarium? Is that like for some crazy flower fish? No, Magnolia Emporium. Randy's clients range from nurses and teachers to musicians, actors, and even some royalty thrown in there. Oh, I'd be on the royalty side. You really don't have any swag, do you? No. No, I don't. That's where Randy comes in. He listens to exactly what you want, whether it's spoken or unspoken. Okay, if you mean he can read my mind, there's lots of things I don't want Randy to know. No, he has a great feel for what he does. Okay, where can I find Magnolia Emporium? Just go to magnoliaemporium.com. We want your space to reflect your success. Okay, so here we are. Uh, you are absolutely, positively, 100% for sure in the right place. This is the Chris Top Program. Sure are you is. Are you feeling it today? Am I feeling it? I'm pretty excited about this show. Uh, because we've got Cherish on Skype, kind of. She can kind hear of, us. Sorta. She can hear us. But we can't hear But we can't hear her, so I don't know. I, I'm hoping she's got her Skype turned up and maybe the radio turned down. Well, I can see you, but she can't hear us. <laughs> like, I see her mouth moving, This should be interesting. No, you know, we could just... A silent radio. What, okay, program. this is what I want you to do. I want you to read her lips <laughs> oh, and then just right. translate, that's you know, the interview uh, for everybody. That's All what right. we'll do. Laughter. Hey, Cherish. Oh, look at the baby. Aw. Okay, just um, try uh, signing off, Cherish, and then sign back in, and we'll just talk for a little while, and we'll talk about you some. We'll play a song or something like that. And just uh, sign, make sure you know your mute's not on. Just little simple stuff like that. Just try it again. All right. All Thank you. Time. All right. We just got hung up on by Cherish. Oh. That's, that was the story of my life back in high school. I'd call a girl up and she'd hang up on me just like that. Are you sure that's what happened? Yeah, most of the time. I that's mean, what you, you did to me like the first five times. No. That's not what happened at all. <laughs> fake news. It's not fake news. Randy's listening and he's in the chat. Hi, Randy. Handy Randy. He says he'll be on in a few here with customer and an artist. So maybe he's not on. When he says artist, I wonder if he means like a painter. I don't know. Probably. Probably. But I mean, he has different people in there. So I don't know. It could be either one. Could be. Cherish, hey. I hope you can. I hope we can hear you now. Silence. And Dead air. nothing. <laughs> nothing at all. Okay, well, hopefully Cherish is going to maybe figure that out, I hope. We'll see. Uh, but uh, let me go over just a couple things about uh, Cherish. Now, her her parents are actually famous parents. Oh, snap. Yeah. I didn't want to spend a lot of time talking about them, but since we can't get really get <laughs> Cherish on here. So we'll um, brag about her parents. Her father is uh, Johnny Lee. And uh, if you're one of those silly millennials... I am a millennial. <laughs> you may not know who Johnny Lee is. Uh, he, he sang that uh, that country song, Looking for Love. Yeah, and I know that song. Looking for love in all the wrong... See, I can't sing don't, it. Don't interrupt I just me. sang Looking for Love to... Billions. His daughter. And she's probably like, oh my gosh, I'm hanging up. I'm never, never going to be on this show, ever. Never. Ever again. And then uh, her mother is uh, Charlene Tilton. She's uh, from uh, Dallas. And I was so young when Dallas was on TV. Uh, but I do remember, and this is one of my earliest memories, um, JR getting shot. I mean, it's all people talked about for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. The only reason I... Who shot JR? <laughs> the, I've never actually watched the show, but I do know what it is because of Mad Men. Yeah. Uh -huh. Was it... How do you know it because of Mad Men? Wasn't it because of Mad Men? They were talking about it on Mad Men. No, that Mad Men was before Dallas. Dallas was like in the 70s. Then where, what TV show did I hear this on? I don't know. Was it on in the 80s? Maybe you heard it on the Chris Top program. Was it on in the 80s? 
Did you say probably that? yes? Yes, we Maybe watched some we 80s watched documentary. An 80s documentary. Yeah, so that's what it was. Good. But uh, but her mother played Lucy Lucy Ewing on there. So I don't know. I just thought I'll people would like to know that. Uh, but anyway, she's uh, spent some time. Looks like on the road performing. You know, starting a family, recording the album, Ooh, stuff like that. Uh-huh. So lots of stuff going on. Now, what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do, Cherish, is I'm going to go ahead and play one of your songs, and then we'll come back and we'll try to figure out what's going on with Skype. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe I'll restart mine, and we'll see if we can figure something out. Yeah, we'll, we'll do uh, But anyway, we're going to play one of her songs. We're going to start with uh, One Pillow Over. This is Cherish Lee right here on the Chris Top Program. Kiss is stronger than a jolt in a coffee cup The way you smile at me, baby Is the antidote for my own crazy You saved me from the man I was Everything I need is one pillow over Underneath these sheets Time moves slower The world outside Everything I need is one pillow over I dance the lights out of this town I turn the on and I shut it down I think we figured everything out. Final? I think we, I think we got it all figured out. We've got uh, Cherish Lee on here with us today. I've been excited about this ever since I talked to uh, to Michael because uh, I, I I saw him. He sent me the email out say, saying who you were, and I'm like, I've never heard of Cherish, so I checked you out, and I'm like, dude, where has she been? Why am I just now hearing about her? Oh man, you are so sweet. You're too cool. Thank you. Oh, um, she called me cool. I'm gonna write that down. Oh, Hang on one second. Oh no. Let me write that. Okay, I got it. Go ahead. You just fed his no, ego. No, Michael's so fantastic. Oh, my gosh. I'm happy to be on the air, and I'm glad that we got it. And apparently, I just found out, like, a month ago, and take no offense, millennials, but I here I am, like, making fun of millennial, millennials and the GoFundMes, and apparently, <laughs> I'm a millennial. Oh, are you really? I am. I guess I am. I fall in that bracket, so I was like, well, 
There you go. I'm welcome <laughs> to the club. <laughs> I guess I can congratulate her. Yeah, you should because millennials are great. Okay, okay. They, they are great. And the funny, but there was like this funny YouTube video. Have you seen it where they're like, I'm starting a GoFundMe to support my vegan habit. <laughs> 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 and I've got to start my music career, and I'm like, holy, sh- it's me. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay, now I want to I want to get to know you just a little bit. Now, you, uh, you, you have you have I know you have one child. You just have one. I have one wonderful baby. Okay. And three dogs. Three dogs. So, we have, so you have Penny children. Lane, right? Mm-hmm. Penny Lane, aka Pasta. Yeah, and who else? We've got Cowgirl, who is actually named after Tequila Cowgirl, Mm -hmm. and Holiday. Okay, so you've got a big family. I do, and my incredible husband, who puts puts (laughs) all this colorfulness into the house. He he said, when I met you, he goes, I knew immediately that I was going to marry you. I was like, really? You didn't hear this? (laughs) 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 Now, now Cherish, are you, now, do I need to call you Cherish or Cherish Lee? Oh, you, I've been called all different things. Cherish is fine. Okay, okay. So we're on a, like a first name basis. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, good, cool good, point. good. Now, are you in Clark? Are you in Nashville, or are you are you outside of Nashville? I'm in Nashville. Okay, so where can I find your schedule at? Like when you uh, perform? Well, right now it's a uh, a lot of private shows for the rest of this year, but everything is going to be on www.cherishlymusic.com. Oh. And I'm thinking that 2018 is when we're going to hit the ground hard. Okay, okay. So I can just watch that, and then you'll let me know when you're going to be playing somewhere. Yeah, and check it periodically, especially if you're in the Nashville area, um, because I've got – my son has a fiddle that he makes. <laughs> the Frizzell's got it for him for his oh, birthday. that's great. And, yeah, anyways. Um – so sweet, but yeah, it, I'll have random shows just pop up. Like I had uh, someone ask if I could play tonight, and unfortunately, I'm not able to. But mm-hmm. a lot of times, I'll take them. Okay. So yeah. But since since we're tight now, uh, like if if you are going to be playing somewhere in Nashville, you think you could give me like shoot me like a, an email or something? I would love to. See, I would like that. Yes. I would like that. Now, when I show up at one of your one of your gigs, do you have like um, hard copy CDs or anything like that that I could get? I actually have to print those up because we're gonna release the full album in January 2018. Oh, you're gonna make me wait. No. <laughs> ah, okay. So, so are there any singles out right now, or are we waiting until January? Yeah, uh, it's called Tequila Cowgirl. It's it's the title of the album, but that's that's the single that's available right now on iTunes, and I just released the music video. Oh, Which I had. So a, have I seen the music video? I don't think I don't I've think seen so. the music video. Oh my gosh! I just released it. Uh, when was it? The thirtieth. So not yesterday, but the day before. Oh, I feel like I'm so far behind. <laughs> I feel horrible because I want to see. The, I want to stop the show and watch the video now. Well, I'm not I, going to. No, no, no. Do it after. But okay. It's so it's so fun because I've never like I, I don't know. All dreams are coming true. I'm like I've recorded. My album, I've done a music video, I'm happily married with child, and I'm like, <laughs> here at night, like, how many views does it have now? <laughs> this is so exciting. <laughs> Those now, three dogs okay. are like, they're just children too, so basically you have four children. <laughs> well, I do. That's true. Oh gosh, I know, and Cowgirl, the German Shepherd, is a puppy. <laughs> you oh, you've got a German Shepherd! <laughs> and she is. She is so funny because the other two are smaller. Holiday is a Chihuahua Doxy mix. And my husband and I were out working, and all of a sudden we hear, <laughs> inside the house I run in, and I'm like, oh, my God, like, cowgirl's killing one of the small dogs. And the little ones on top of cowgirl like, you better settle down, Missy. <laughs> <laughs> I keep trying to convince Chris that we need a dog. I don't know. We got cats. I have one. You can come over and pick and pick one. There you go. You, well, why don't, why don't you just let her come over and pet them? I want yeah, one. I anybody want who needs their dog fix, please come to. Come to <laughs> we'll just go over and pet them every once in a while. We'll do that. Bruh. We'll get some selfies. Bruh, that is not the same. I mean, I'm all about petting the dogs, but uh, we need a dog. We need to leave our cat somewhere where so we can do the same thing with them. Oh, we need to just get rid of them. <laughs> We can switch up. Cher should come okay, pet our cats. I was cats. just going to say, this is perfect. Yeah, we can, we can work that out. So, Okay, so I have to ask you. Now, your parents, are they are, are they backing you up on your career choice? Or are they like, what are you thinking? No. 
oh my gosh, they're so cool. They're so supportive and, you know, they're like, whatever you want to do, just do it full heartedly. Uh, but I think my mom was kind of full of crap. I feel like she <laughs> really like if I would have chosen another career, she would have been like, oh, but um, no, it's they've been really, really supportive. I've seen, you know, all of the ups and downs firsthand and sure. how crazy it can get and how crooked people can be. But mm-hmm. the perks of it are, you know, you really get to well, you get to travel, but you get to meet some really incredible people and. One thing I learned from my dad, which is like the heartbeat of this album for me, is how important the fans are because he will stay until the last hand has been shook and autograph signed. And he loves his fans. Now that says a lot lot. about somebody's character. Mm -hmm. Well, he's, you know, he's in his 70s. He just got a new tour bus. His fans are loyal. They follow him. They love him. And he puts on a hell of a show and has a great time with everybody. So that's, you know... I like I look up to him. I admire that in him. And they're some of the hardest working people I've ever, you know, mm-hmm. been around. Well, good, good. So I, I was kind of wondering how that would work out because a lot of times I think when when someone has parents in the business, they 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 might try to talk you out of it. <laughs> you know, and then, but I guess it goes both ways. So it's good know. that they're I would, supportive. I would be kind of surprised if they weren't supportive, honestly, because that's that's their career and that's yeah. like their heart and soul. So of course they sure. pass it on to their children. Sure, I know. And as I walk into the office, my son has got his fiddle, and then he goes up to the guitar and hits the guitar. I'm like, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> now you just got a big compliment from the uh, chat. I was looking at the chat on the ChrisTopProgram dot com. And uh, our buddy Randy, he uh, actually owns Magnolia Emporium. Uh, he says that your eyes are incredibly stunning. Oh, thank you. My blue eyes. One blue this way, one blue that way. <laughs> She's quick, isn't she? Yes. <laughs> now, let's talk a little. We've already played One Pillow Over while we were uh, trying to get you on. Tell us a little bit about that song. Oh, that love song. That is actually the very first song. Can you hear <laughs> <laughs> yes. We've got two. We've got two on the interview today. Yeah. Uh, he is. So One Pillow Over was the very first song I ever wrote in Nashville. And um, oh, my gosh, you guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, you're fine. It's, it, it's entertaining. It adds color me. to the interview. You're fine. Well, this is a very colorful house. That is so <laughs> hey, sweet pea. Hold on. I'm going to set you guys down and pick this one up. Okay, this is great. I see and, who the center of attention is in that family. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, he, so, yeah, for, for, uh, One Pillow Over was the first song I wrote out here in Nashville uh, with Bill DeLuigi and fell madly in love with <laughs> the song. <laughs> and One Pillow Over is how we got this baby. No, just kidding. Um, <laughs> but I had a dear friend of mine, Mike, from Mike in the Moon Pies, and he, he, they're a Texas band. Um, we had him record the, uh, the duet on it and he was doing a show, I think in Oklahoma at a casino. So we went up into one of the rooms and recorded it there, which is so great and sent it on over. But I, it was like one of those, you heard it and you couldn't tell that it wasn't in the same studio at the same time. So, oh, that's um, cool. Yeah. But I, it, you know, it's a... It's so a when, you, when you sang your part, did you just gaze into your husband's eyes so you could get it right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, he, he, oh, my gosh. My husband's so incredible, you guys. Uh, <laughs> and he has a song on the album. It's called Sweet, Sweet. And um, the lyrics in there are, you're the last sip of, uh, let's see, you're the last sip of milk full of cookie crumbs, my sugar pie. Wait, you're the last sip of milk. Cookie crumbs, my finger licking cherry pie sugar plum. Oh, you're so <laughs> sweet, sweet. It's so yeah. Oh, that's catchy. That's catchy. <laughs> that's really catchy. It's, I want to get uh, I want to get little signs made up so I can have those at the shows. <laughs> now, are are all the songs already completed for the album? They are, yeah. And my husband's like, leave it be, don't touch it, don't open up that can of worms, because I'm like. Well, what if we did this on it now? It's not out yet. <laughs> but um, yes, everything is done. <laughs> How hard is it just to kind of sit there and not release anything and have to wait like a month or two? You know what? Now that I have the single out and the video, um, it, it hasn't been hard. I've been so busy. And um, I it's been great, actually. Mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to it. You're always having to think ahead, and especially as... I'm going to say this, an honest to God, true independent artist. I don't have the money back in and all that. It's, 
it's me <laughs> all sure. the way. Um, so I'm learning how to wear every single hat and bring on the right people. Um, so I'm I'm busy. It's okay to wait. Yeah, absolutely. Now, okay, what what do you like, think? Now you wear the uh, the businesswoman hat, and you also are the entertainer and the and the songwriter and all that. I mean, do do you feel like they're all equally as important, or do you feel like uh, some of them are, are a little more more so than others? They are so no. Oh my gosh, they're all so equally important. And you know, I unfortunately I was locked in contract for a while for several years. Um, but once I got the green light and I was a, a free bird, I went ahead and just ran. Mm -hmm. And it, it feels so good to um, to do it myself because it's really like it, it should be hands on. It should be all you. Mm -hmm. It should be like really, truly all your blood, sweat and tears. <laughs> so that's that's what it's been. Oh, dude, I bet you are just so proud of, of everything. I mean, if you've done it all like that, I mean, I bet you are just incredibly proud. I I am. And so is my family. My husband, it was so sweet when we watch the music video, you know, release on YouTube, I look over and he's crying. And I was like, what's going on? And he's like, I am so proud of you. So because he knows how hard I work. So, sure. and, you know, and being a wife and a new mom and a dog mom and you know, <laughs> keep the house clean. It was so funny. <laughs> Our dog cowgirl. So we had gotten Penny and Penny is like, you know, you'll take her for a walk. She'd come back in and be like, oh, thank you, and relieve herself in the house. And you're like, hey! right. <laughs> And so finally, I'm, I'm like, okay, we're going to crate train her. It's all good. I'm going to go run an errand. I come back, and Cowgirl, like, had projectile diarrhea. I'm like, oh. you kidding me. So I called my husband. I said, I'm getting as much up as I can. But I'm calling the housekeepers. <laughs> I'm done. Like, we all just do what we can do sometimes. That's that's yeah, all you can exactly. do. Yeah. So, now, do you have time to do anything that's like that, anything else? I mean, you're a, you're a mom. You're a wife. You you're a uh, a manager. You're a, a songwriter. You're an entertainer. I mean, when when do you have time to go to the movies? <laughs> we actually got to see it with my friend Caitlin Doubleday and a oh. dear and a dear friend of hers and. Caitlin's on uh, the show Nashville, and she it was actually the first time we got a babysitter. Oh. We're wow. like, uh. <laughs> so I'm checking my phone. I'm like, okay, all is well. Everybody's good. But did you, were so you able to enjoy the movie? Like, were you thinking about what's going on at home, or was it a good um, escape? No, I, we loved it. We actually, I think my husband, shockingly, was more nervous than I was, but the gal that we had watching our son is like, the real deal, Mary Poppins. Mm -hmm. So it was cool. <laughs> real deal. I felt secure. <laughs> okay. So we've got two more songs and I want to make sure we, we get everything squeezed in here. Now this is the, uh, the name of the album is called tequila cowgirl. Uh, oh wait, let me ask you this first before we go into that. Uh, the video, if I go to your website, is, is the video up on your website or do I have to go to YouTube? Uh, it should be on the website. Okay. Okay. And that was cherish, cherishleemusic.com or just cherishlee.com? Yeah. Cherishleemusic.com. Okay. So we need to make sure we go watch that as soon as yes. this is over. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So everybody else go watch that too. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now, Tequila Cowgirl, did you write this yourself? Yes. All of the songs I did. Okay. So tell me a little bit about this one. Where did it come from? Uh, tequila Cowgirl. So before I moved to Nashville, um, now all of these I wrote, and I, but I also had co-writers um, who I definitely want to pay kudos to um this one i wrote with a friend of mine bill de luigi and um tequila cowgirl so before i moved to nashville i lived on a ranch in sulfur springs texas with my papa bear and i really got to learn how to work the ranch so if it so was you're a for real cowgirl yeah yeah i tried to it was the best time i've ever had in my life besides this time right now so you know you i got to help birth cows <laughs> and <laughs> I, I always joke around. I said, yep, I got to uh, pluck the cows and milk the chickens. <laughs> if um, the apocalypse ever really happens, we're coming to your house. Right. Because you know how to do stuff. Because I think you can keep how. us alive. Mm -hmm. I would try my very best. Okay, okay. Uh, I have a list of people. But don't bring your plants because I'd be sure to kill them. Oh, we don't have any plants. We're good. No, we're good. Oh, good. I'm terrible. <laughs> I'm like, I can keep animals and babies and husbands alive. I can't, I can't even keep uh, uh, the little cactuses alive. Well, that's the okay. Guy, I'm not going to judge you. Well, the guy at Trader Joe's said, he goes, hey, if you if you can't keep this alive, I wouldn't walk on grass. I said, okay. <laughs> so I was like, 
really easy. Uh, Talked me up. I bought a couple of them. They're all fucking dead. That's okay. Just stick with the just stick with the puppies and the kids. You're good. Yeah. So um, no, but anyway, so Tequila Cowgirl. I was on the ranch and I was going back and forth between Nashville and Texas and made the decision that it was time just to move here and uh, to just really jump in. So, which was the best decision I've ever made because I met my husband here and all that. So, um, anyways, I look back at Texas and I, I miss it. I miss that life. I miss waking up, you know, right as the sun is rising to go and work on the ranch and learn Mm -hmm. and do and work with the animals and all that. But, um, so tequila cowgirl was kind of like the sliding door. Um, like what would my life have been if I would have stayed there, Ah, you know? Okay. And, And, um, I don't know. I kind of painted this picture of this badass girl and I was like yeah. I love her she's all American <laughs> she loves Jesus she loves tequila <laughs> you know we have cows and chickens in Tennessee as well I so I hear <laughs> um, yeah I know I actually well that was the kind of thing my husband and I we we rented this place and we were thinking oh well we'll just be here for a year and go back to Texas well now we're talking about like actually buying here so oh we'll look- that, yeah. See, that's exciting for me. That means you're going to be around and you're going to do shows and I can come see you. Yes. I would really love it. I mean, to, it's Tennessee is just, the people are incredible. We have this running joke that we've only heard two people honk and one has been me and one has been my mother. <laughs> so, everybody is so incredible. And it, it Nashville's just op- it welcomed me with open arms. That's wonderful. And now, right, okay, before I play Tequila Cowgirl, when, when you first arrived in Nashville... How did you feel? Was it a little intimidating being around all these? Because you're beautiful and you're talented. That goes without saying. But when you're around all these other beautiful, talented people, was it a little intimidating or do you feel like you just kind of slid right in? Oh, gosh. No, not at all. I am I am not one of those girls that gets jealous or questions myself when I see somebody who is stronger or as strong or just different, whatever, you know? Um, I soak it all in there is this hold on let me see if i can find her name tristan she was on american idol and uh i was at the listening room uh night before halloween Mm -hmm. anyway Mm -hmm. she she was singing up there they invited me to come up and sing a song and i am now like a huge fan of hers hold on it is yeah tristan M C I N T O S Macintosh Macintosh. I think I yeah. remember. Yeah, I think I remember. Okay. She is amazing. But I mm-hmm. saw that and I was just like, oh gosh, I like, I want to write with her. I want to collaborate with her. And she's she's a kid. She's seventeen. But I mean, mm-hmm. old soul and incredible voice. So I just that's kind of the best part about Nashville is that you get to jump in and collaborate with all of these people, and it brings, I don't know, it just kind of makes you up your game. That's true. Yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. Nashville's the place to do it for sure. Um, yeah. And absolutely. then I felt like, I mean, so the fact that, you know, people would write with me and then they're like, hey, you've got to write with this person too. So doors were opening and I was like, well, I guess I'm good at what I'm doing. So that's good because mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm a terrible waitress. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, uh, Cherish, I was going to say, I know all your songs are done for your new album. If, yeah. um, if you ever want to send me any of those, like kind of like just, you know, on the down low. Um, yeah. you can just so I can hear them. We don't have to tell Michael. <laughs> I love Michael. He's so awesome. He has <laughs> been like the best addition of this team. Uh, but just think about it though. Okay, I'll, I'll send them to you. Okay. I absolutely will. I won't play them. But uh, what we could do though, before your album comes out, we could get you back on the show and talk about some stuff. Let's do it now that I figured out this whole Skype thing and really tapped into my yeah. millennial roots. Yeah, it'll be Your fun. millennial embraces the best generation. Okay, so <laughs> we're we're okay. We're gonna play Tequila Cowgirl. If you just tuned in, we've got Cherish Lee on the show, and uh, okay. we've got one more song, and then you can go back and listen uh, to what you've missed. Uh, you can catch it on iHeartRadio, Stitcher, Spreaker, Player FM. There's a whole bunch of places you can listen. Uh, but here we go. She takes her coffee black, wears her grandpa's hat, her boots are well worn in. She's bullseye harness, and she's restless as the wind. 
She says, you know, man, you can let them in and lead them to the trough. But just like wild horses, they tend to wander off. On her trusty horse and takes a ride under the stars. She cooks for one, cleans her own damn gun. Stretch out in her bed. Wouldn't mind the company, just hasn't found the right one yet. Ooh, but not much can bring her down. She's got a heart for Jesus. Get on. I gotta say, I don't know if I can finish the interview because I'm kind of starting a fanboy. Oh, awesome! A little I love bit. It. Okay, I just I'm just getting that out of the way. So in case I stumble or get real quiet, that's why. Because <laughs> I mean, she's really good. I mean, we we strive to have great artists on the show, but she she is really really good. He's over here fanboying. I really am. Real. I really am. I, I'm just like wanting to his, jump up and down. His cheeks are turning red. I know. He's, he's doing the little like I know. fangirl I am. dance. I can't wait to get a copy of the album. Hey. Oh. I'll send it to you. Oh, will you autograph it for us? Yes, I will. Hey, say, say something on it that makes me look cool. Okay, I will. Okay, That'll good. be an extra $100. <laughs> Why don't uh, you just black out my tooth and give myself a unibrow? But that'll, that'll be like especially great. your copy. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. <laughs> yes. uh, okay, so I, I want to say this before the end of the show because I feel like maybe sometimes people tune up for the end. But I want to let everybody know that we don't take you for granted. We absolutely love you for listening. And... Um, yeah, I just want to say that right now because Aww. I know I say it every show, but I, I I just I want people to know that we mean it. You're getting almost. It's really true. I mean, they're the reason why we're able to do what we do, and that's why I say the fans are the heartbeat of this album. Like, be, truly being an independent artist, like mm-hmm. it's this is all them. It is. It, I mean, it, it, maybe you'd still write stuff if nobody read it, but I mean, it's, it's something special when people appreciate it. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. Now, if you had to choose between. Uh, just writing songs or entertaining? If you had to pick, which one would you pick? Mm, but, uh, da, 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 yeah. Ask me the <laughs> other question. I don't know. Maybe writing? Right. So you would pick writing over entertaining? I think so. That kind of surprised me. I figured you'd go the other way. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I, I would probably say that. I, I guess because you're able to... I'm going to turn this toy off and hopefully not upset my son. <laughs> I have a cat uh, yeah, over here. Yeah, I'd write songs for, for Toys R Us. No, I don't know. <laughs> I, right. No, we're both having, well, it's okay. Yeah. We're both having like all these dogs and all these animals. But okay, I want to hear. like over here on this microphone. I know. She's all over the place. I, I want to hear what Cherish's superpower is. Yes. I'm excited. 
Oh, okay. So it sounds really creepy, but I wouldn't use it for creepy purposes. Um, it would be mind control. Oh, Ooh, that's okay. A good one. Now, are you talking mind control with just people or animals too? Because I can see where that would come in handy. Well, if I could figure out how to get Penny Lane to not go darting off if she's not on leash um, mm-hmm. and not to potty in the house, I would use it on Penny. Oh, that, you wouldn't need <laughs> leashes for dogs or cats. No, you would just tell them to be good. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, no, but otherwise, for people. So, like, yeah. what would you do with your power? Make them love you. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'd be Millions of people come to my concerts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, tequila cowgirl, <laughs> talking stuffer. <laughs> so, but I, you would use it for good. I, I would use it for good, and I'm not gonna lie. I would probably get a couple like bags out of the deal, like sure. a couple cool, like designer pairs of boots. <laughs> you know, no, no. But probably, yeah, I think mind control would be a thing. Oh, I, okay. I've got a question, and I want you to be honest. W- would you use it for a record deal? No, 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 this is no, I wouldn't. And this is why I won't go. And I hope I don't shoot myself in the foot by saying this. My mom's like, don't say it. My dad's like, let him, let him have it. Uh, (laughs) So part of the reason why I want to be an independent artist and not do like the whole hundred thousand dollars to get your song on the radio type of thing is because I feel like that's kind of like the chick with the padded bra. Mm. Hmm. It's a great analogy. I don't know. You've got this chick with a good old size padded bra and it just turns out to be stuffing. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great analogy. That is. I don't know. I feel like if my song is going to be on the radio, I hope that it's because I'm good and people want to hear it. You know, I don't want to like force feed people sure. or anything. So. Sure. Well, I'm loving your stuff so far. So, I mean, if, if I like it, then I'm sure there's got to be somebody else too. Mm-hmm. Yes. they got to be out there. It's gotta be. I have, no, I'm not gonna please everybody. So that's it's sure. that's you know, I don't have a weird thing about that. I think I already got one dislike on my video. I was like, oh, well, okay. <laughs> it's gonna I'm happen. Okay <laughs> well, I mean, when people start doing that, that means that it's going outside of your circle and, and it, it's really a good sign. Yeah. At least I it counted as a view. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> right. Somebody told Maybe they me. hate it so much they'll watch it three or four times. Maybe. That'd be great. Somebody people told me off. that once you have haters, you know you made it. Yeah. I've yeah. got one hater. Does that count? I yes, maybe does. you've made it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So cherishleemusic.com. If I go there, um, is it pretty easy to stalk you from there? Like as far as Facebook, uh, Twitter, yeah, Instagram, yeah. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I have no idea how I am on Twitter, but apparently I tweet and it's me. Okay. I don't, I, I have no clue how I signed up for it, but it's there. Yes. Well, that's good. That's <laughs> now what are you, what are you most active on? Instagram and and Facebook. I definitely post way more to Instagram than I do Facebook, but I'm trying to get better at the other. So okay, so so if a fan has a question or a comment or something, you're more likely to respond on one of those. Yeah, on on Facebook and Instagram. Good. Now, can I get merchandise on your website, or is that going to be January as well? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, put those out there. We're going to have tequila cowgirl flasks. Okay. And we've got our Tequila Cowgirl shirts. And nice. I'm going to actually make some home signs um, that go, like, above your bed um, mm-hmm. that say, you know, everything I need is one pillow over and the oh, cute that's cool. thing for Sweet Sweet. And, yeah. Okay. Now, did you say that you're going to have Tequila Cowgirl flask? Absolutely. Oh, that's cool. Nice. That's cool. That's a good idea. It is a good idea. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so all the merchandise, cherishleemusic.com. Then we can look for the CD in January. Oh, she's going to make us wait. Oh, I don't like waiting. I'm not a patient That's person. like two months. No. I'm Ugh. like, so, my, so yeah, my husband is not good at that sort of thing. So he bought my engagement ring and like waited probably two hours. And then he was like, <laughs> I can't even take it anymore. He got down on his knee and was like crying. I asked me to marry him, and I just started laughing. And he was, <laughs> I was like, "Oh my gosh!" Inappropriate laughter. This is <laughs> Dry your eyes. Yes, I'll marry you. <laughs> so his self esteem is shot, but it worked. Oh, uh-huh, it worked. It did work. <laughs> he was like, "Yes, you can have fifty dogs." <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, so I've got a, I've got a, a deep question to ask you before we play the last song. Dun, dun, dun. Oh. Okay, so take a deep breath, cherish, prepare yourself. Okay, you ready? Oh, yes. 
Okay, here we go. So if you had five minutes to sit down with anybody, this could be anybody that's living, anybody that's passed away, anyone throughout history, who would it be? Okay, if it's only five minutes, I would go ahead and say, if it was longer, I'd, my answer would be different. But if it was five minutes, I would pick Ashton Kutcher. Real, real, why Ashton Kutcher? Were you like a That 70s Show fan? or what? No, I've actually never seen an episode of it. Okay. He is a brilliant businessman. Ah, and I love that when he was dating Mila Kunis and everybody was trying to get a picture of him instead of like those pictures becoming like worth a ton of money. He just inundated the Internet with photos of him and Mila Kunis mm. and he's got all this other stuff. And plus, I want to be on his television show, The Ranch or sure. it's the Netflix series. Oh, I've heard of that. Yeah, it's so great, you guys. So anyways, but yes, I would I would pick his brain. Oh, that's um, interesting. If I had a little bit longer, maybe like a half hour, it would probably be Angelina Jolie. Really? Just because she does so much. And then if I had longer, it would be, I can't believe I'm blanking on her last name. There's a movie right now on demand called uh, Bernard and, I can't even forget. Uh, Yeah, anyways, I'd have to look up her name, who I'd have dinner with. Okay. But, But yeah. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> but that girl a gazillionaire and a very intricate interesting woman it's bernard and does anybody know it i don't know it i don't know abby it. doesn't know it either okay well anyways so okay let's go back to angelina jolie for a second does that mean you hate brad pitt no 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 okay i got kind of a man crush the on whole brad interview pitt. would have been over if you still hated <laughs> brad pitt i know i would have kept her on i don't know about that because <laughs> oh, i know no, how much brad you pitt was on dallas you guys was he? Brad Pitt. Yeah, he did an episode on Dallas. I think that was like one of his first acting gigs. Oh, that's kind of cool. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. I bet you know all kinds of Dallas trivia, don't you? We're going to go back and watch that after the show. Yeah, we need to go. We need to go back and find the Dallas episode with Brad Pitt. <laughs> yeah. I do know some interesting insides. <laughs> that we'll have to do a show like some we'll have to do an 80s show sometime. I thought you were going to say, we'll have to do a show about And get Brad Cherish Pitt. back on, like, for five minutes or something. Yeah. Talk about so that. So, I was, okay, so yesterday I played on, um, for Music Row magazine, and I told my guitar player and my fiddle player, I was like, okay, dress up, let's do it. And I, like, I, I was like, okay, I can't be a scary clown. I need to be somewhat recognizable. <laughs> so, I'll go ahead and do flash dance. So, I basically showed up in my underwear and wet hair. Sure. And my... I do that every day anyway. <laughs> like 10 minutes before she gets there, she goes, hey, girl, couldn't find a costume. And I was like, you son of a... <laughs> That's... So anyway, it was me and my son. My son was dressed as a skunk, and I was 80s <laughs> black man. <laughs> <laughs> Those don't even go together. I don't know how that works. <laughs> it was in the 80s. <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, so we got one more song. I'm going to make sure we get this in uh, before we run out. Well, actually, we have run out of time already, but uh, we really like you. We're going to play this last song. Okay. Uh, oh, thank you. Oh, sure. It'll be possible. <laughs> this, this is called Ain't Your Grandma's Country Song. So so tell me about this one. Ain't Your Grandma's Country Song. It pays homage to the old as well as the new. All right, simple enough. Ain't Your Grandma's <laughs> Country Song, Cherish Lee on the Chris Top Program. <laughs> We're proud to be homegrown, kicking it back, road trucks and got and beer. Oh, hell, hell, we hail tradition, we jack it up, and that's our addition. My bad, we didn't ask permission. You might not get it, but we hope you dig it.
keep the tone. Yeah, this ain't your grandma's country song. I noticed a little toot in that song. I love it. A little rock and roll attitude. That was good. It was. You know, I, I feel like that I would be listening to the song as like, you know, going down the highway and the wind is just blowing in my hair. Yeah? Like you think it so? Would just complete the moment. Like one of those rebellious millennials listening to the song? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe that one will appeal to all the rebellious millennials then. Well, so, that includes myself, good. <laughs> absolutely. Uh, okay, so cherishleemusic.com. Uh, make sure you go there. Check out the new video. The video is Tequila Cowgirl, right? Yes. Okay, so and then there's merchandise on the site. The CD's coming out in a couple of months. Have you already started writing stuff for the next uh, album or singles? Oh or gosh, Yes, and I'm like, am I nuts if I lost it? Like, what am I doing thinking about the next one? Yes. <laughs> well, you got to do it. You got to keep going. <laughs> it's just part of it, I you. guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, and it's funny because this ain't your grandma's country song. That's one of the ones that's done. But I'm like, could we change it? Should I redo the vocal? Should I put a thing on my voice? Should I? I think it's perfect. Don't put anything on your voice. Okay, okay. Because I was thinking okay, that's settled. Like, a, 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 like a nasty phone filter. Or something <laughs> now I'm going to be watching your site for when you're going to be performing. Okay. He's going to be stalking. Okay. Yeah, I'll stalk it all the time. Well, I'm going to stalk yours then, too. Yes. yes. Sweet. See, that's what we're shooting for. Two-way stalking. And because I asked Cherish off the air, uh, it is a go. She did invite us over for dinner. Sweet. Yes, please. Yes. I'm so serious. Yeah, see? See? She's see, it's not, I'm not being rude when I, <laughs> when but, but I do that. Honestly, but this is how I make most of my friends. I'm like, hi, I'm Cherish. Do you want to come over? <laughs> <laughs> I have yes. like lifelong friends that I met the first day of kindergarten, and I went up to their mom at the end of the day. I said, um, can I come to your house? And she was like, where's your mom, little girl? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Uh, this has been such a pleasure. You're such a nice person. Well, you guys as well. And I really, really enjoyed this. Thank you so much for the time and having me. What an honor. Well, it good. was lit. Michael did good. MTS management. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. that's right. He did good. He did real good. Uh, so uh, do you want to take us out this time? Heck I think yeah, I did I it last time. Go out. ahead. Thank you for listening to the Chris Top program. We do not, nor will we ever take you for granted. There are a million, bajillion, quadrillion things you could be doing right now, but you chose to listen to us, and that's pretty cool, I guess. So until we broadcast again, please remember this. Life is good, and we're gone. Maybe a door, things might be looking grim. I guess it's time. 